Uh, welcome back. In this last video, I want to show you how to run a chow test in SPSS. And this is slightly more complicated than the other programs because uh, SPSS does not have a command for chow test. Instead, we need to go around through this either by using the long way that we saw earlier using stata. In other words, estimating first the first model and then the second model that includes only the first for the first group of data that includes only 11 observations and then the third one that includes only nine observations however there is a quick uh, there's a quicker way to do this and that's what we want to see today in SPSS so let us open the data in SPSS we have our y variable where we know that the structural break occurs in period 12 and as we saw earlier in the previous videos the value for the child test was 168.95 we also have our independent variables x1 and x2 and then we have our grouping variable which is variable d which takes a value of 0 from 1 to 11 and then takes the value of 1 for the remaining observations so let us go now and click analyze and we're going to go to general linear model and univariate in the univariate, we're going to choose our y variable and place it where it says dependent variable. We're going to choose our grouping variable and place it in the fixed factors. And then we're going to choose x1 and place it in the covariates and covariates. And x2, we're going to place it in the covariates as well. Now, we're going to click on model. We're not going to click on OK. So let's click on model. And, and we're going to choose the custom one. And we're going to place all D1 as an interaction in the model, D2, X1, I'm sorry, in the model, and X2 in the model. And then we're going to press continue. I'm almost ready, but I'm not going to click OK. I'm going to click paste. And as soon as I click paste, I'm going to get this design in, I'm going to get the command in the syntax window. Now, if I press run as it is, I'm not going to get the result that I want because the Unianova command is simply going to give me the F-test for all the factors that I have requested. So I really do not need this. What I need to do is I need to go into the code and I need to modify it slightly. The first thing I need to do is I need to go to the design and where it says DX1 and X2, I need to add also D times X1 and D times X2 then I need to delete that dot because I'm not done yet so I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna write the following command which is LM matrix and the name of the test and I need to define this for three cases first for variable D 1 minus 1 x1 times D 1 minus 1 and then x2 times D 1 minus 1 and then let's not forget the dot so let us highlight this whole thing and press uh, run and as soon as I do that I'm gonna get the test that I got earlier for each one of the sources However, the last thing that I'm going to get is the F-test that I got earlier in the other programs as well, which is 168.96, which is the chow test that I want. And this is the quickest, quickest way to get to the chow test in SPSS. So just to review, just to revise, we're going to go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. We're going to put our dependent variable on the top. Fixed factors are going to be the grouping variable, and in my case, I named it D, covariates X1 and X2. In the model, I'm going to say D, X1 and X2. And then I'm going to paste this, and I'm going to modify this slightly, D times X1 and D times X2, deleting, and I'm just going to run it with a chart test. So thank you very much for watching. <coughs> This concludes our series for the child test.